544. A little chilly out there, you guys. It's 43 in Plattsburgh, 47 degrees in Burlington, but the Adirondacks, 35 for Saranac Lake, 39 in Montpelier, 42 in Lebanon. So definitely have a few extra layers as you head out the door this morning. Luckily, there's a very light wind, so it's not too bad, and it's actually pretty seasonable, too. Sun is up in the next hour, and we will have plenty of it. Just a few high, thin clouds that you can barely see here on Storm Tracker. Other than that, obviously, not a whole lot going on this morning. Uh, so do count on a nice, bright morning once that sun comes up and that will help our temperatures rebound pretty nicely. So what we had over the weekend is going to be what we're going to have for today. So do expect the Adirondacks, Saranac Lake, Lake Placid, Newcomb, Tupper Lake all to be right near that 60 mark. Same with Jay-Z around 61 and Port Henry 64 degrees, Potsdam around 66. Close to that mark in Burlington, 65 for a high there. Highgate around 64, Montpelier 59 today, Lisbon 61. And we'll have that mostly clear sky with a light wind at first and then very, very slowly, maybe a little bit of a breeze by the end of the day. 55 for Stratton this afternoon, Plymouth will be around 59. Here's that wind. Now today, not too bad, but by tomorrow, tomorrow morning and through the afternoon, wind gusts will be up near 25, maybe 30, 35 miles per hour at times. Uh, so not anything like we had on Friday, but still a pretty good wind out of this. And I do want to point out, this is thanks to a warm front. So through tomorrow, we will have that southerly wind. So that's going to help our temperatures climb just a little bit. But eventually a cold front will pass on Wednesday and we'll get that wind shift and another round of rain. So it's not just the wind that these couple of fronts are going to bring us. It's also the rain ahead of it, though. A really nice day of weather, just like we had over the weekend. So there are those mostly clear skies for the afternoon. Overnight tonight, those clouds will increase. And around that 5 to 6, 7, 8 o'clock hour, you can expect some showers to move in. This is the first front. It's a warm front. And that'll bring us some, at times, widespread, steady, and maybe even at times on the heavier side, rain. This is around noontime. As you can see, it might taper off a little bit towards the evening hours and become a little bit spottier. So we get a break between that warm front and tomorrow's cold front. Uh, Wednesday's cold front rather you might find some spottier showers uh, but let's have a look at Wednesday morning obviously nothing too widespread but you're going to find the return of some steadier and at times heavier rain with the arrival of that second front which is the cold front so once that passes after maybe a little the rain and a couple of thunderstorms will dry up pretty quickly but ahead of it you guys uh, we're going to warm up find those showers along with, associated and along with those couple of systems there and behind it, there's your dry up on Thursday, but it is going to be cooler and more seasonable again with some sunshine and temperatures back in the 60s. Next significant round of rain won't be at least a chance where it won't be until the end of the weekend and start of next week.